What up, and this is John Shibble, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes Banger. Now, before you guys adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes, I am black, and I'm playing a dirt bike game. Now, today, we're here at Paris Race Day. It's Race Day Supercross. Uh, they do have two different versions on the MXB uh, bikes. Um, you can pick up the version that they created for the game. Uh, both of them, you get it for just a dollar. So basically, you're getting two tracks for 50 cents each, which is equal to a dollar, yeah. So with that being said, yeah, you get two different sections of it, and uh, they have the race day, which is the actual replica from IRL, and then they also have their version. So definitely pick it up. Link will be down in the description below. Um, I'm very excited to be running on this track. I've been running it quite a bit today. I ran it on my Deddy, and I also did a couple shorts on it. Um, I feel like I've kind of moving and grooving and i'm very excited for i forget who's hosting it i will have to get back into that and see who it is but it is on tuesday coming up uh, they are hosting a race here and i'm actually very excited to see if i can qualify my fastest lap on here is a 45.2 and i think i have a 45 in me or a 44 point whatever um i think i seen travis and my daddy run a 44.8 and all it is is just clearing up this section right here to get into this sand section and hit you know clean just clean up the sand section, clean up that that transfer, and I think I'll be fine. Get my triple in. And now I know you can quad over this. I've done it, but I don't know how to do it consistently. So that's probably something I'm gonna probably be working on. That might hit my time definitely lower, because um, I know you do a single out when you really could do a double out, and it might be faster if you can hit the quad, especially for a 250. So um, that's something we'll probably work on, see if I can get, if not, no biggie. Um, I'm super excited to run for this track. Also, a little off topic, not really, but it's still in the Supercross realm. Twisted Development is also coming out with their, uh, I think it's the 10th, which would be this Saturday? Yeah, I think it's this Saturday. Um, with that being said, Twisted Development is also coming out with their next uh, track rotation for Arlington. Um, I wasn't able to uh, qualify for Tampa. They are switching, uh, they are skipping Oakland. I think Oakland just has too much problems for everybody to actually try to connect. Um, but they are uh, skipping Oakland, and we're going straight to Arlington. See, I can almost get that that tr uh, quad in. But we're going straight to Arlington, which I'm actually very excited for. Um, I went to try to get practice today on it um, in race crash, race craft uh, rotation. Um, no harm, no foul, man. I think just one person didn't like that I banned him from my daddy. We'll speak, we won't speak on anymore. So, hey, that being said, I had to get ejected. Was going to make a video on it tonight instead of doing some practice, but not mad at it. But uh, yeah, we will be practicing Arlington, uh, hopefully to try to qualify for that, because uh, we didn't, we missed it by one second on Tampa, which I think uh, I did leave time. I left so much time on the track. Um, I really just couldn't get over the whoops for some reason. Dude. I was having like such a hard day, um, but hey, it's, it's all good. It was a uh, live and learn, and uh, hopefully we'll bounce back for Arlington and run some pretty good heaters, you know? Um, so yeah, that being said, I can't get off the Kawasaki. I want to do 250 practice, but there's no reason. I'll always say it. A lot of people keep asking me, why don't you hop on the 450? Is because, you know, I want to I wanna perfect the 250 life, especially the Kawasaki. I don't want to even switch 250s right now. I feel like right now the, the Kawasaki feels the, the best to me, and uh, I'm going to keep with it. Um, I don't want to try to relearn a new bike and understand how the physics work on it. So yeah. Um, that being said, Paris Raceway. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for that event to happen. I think I do have a qualifying time, especially if I can run a 45, low 45 with that. Um, so 45 to a 44. I know it's either the table on or you could do a over the table, actually. Let me try the outside, because I know you can do this and rail the outside to this. Do like a double, double out. I really don't know which one's faster, because you can really do a transfer into both. You know what I'm saying? Let me try here. Oh, seat bounce. Oh, okay. So if I can seat bounce correctly, if I can, if I can stand up late and seat bounce correctly, I think I can get over to hit that quad in. Um, that would save huge time because you're not uh, singling out; you're actually doubling out, and you hit a quad. That's huge, man. So um, that being said, the whoops aren't really hard on this track either. I would say, like, as long as you have a good run in them, you'll kind of breeze through them. I mean, once again, I think my my Kawasaki 250 setup kind of eats through almost any whoops once again i mean i kind of just like dox myself saying to tampa but it wasn't that i was running bad and then i was trying to i was trying to get i think that was the only spot for me to get faster and i kept messing up in them to where i was trying to go too hard in the paint and i knew that like they're super long whoops so yeah well that being said w to anybody who made this track i forget who did make this track but uh i think it's nine seven wait seven nine seven whoever seven nine seven is w guy Thanks for making this uh, track. <clears throat> this is really cool. Uh, it's really good practice for myself. Um, yeah, I'm at, oh man, I'm at first gear. Oops, that's on me. But as you guys can see from like with, literally within like the two weeks I've been practicing Supercross, I've been getting way better. 
and uh, I know that pros just came out with that uh, that coach stuff I want to promote it man I want to promote that coach stuff but dude really let's be honest guys if you guys aren't even paying for a dollar to two dollar tracks who's gonna be paying thirty five dollars to forty dollars to fifty dollars an hour at that for a session guys I I'm just saying like I think for the community for the more you know free roam community no one's paying those money i think i think the only people you're attracting with that which is good i mean you obviously know your audience at that point is only people that are actually trying to qualify to become bigger of a pro and i don't think that's bad i, I just don't see how many people you have in the pro scene willing to do that and how, how big this game is at the time you know so with that being said hey to more power to you if you can find it out my alternative to it was uh instead of paying charging fifty dollars an hour um, make your make your class dates to where you can set up 15 people like like hey my my sessions uh, 15 people max booked and make them like five dollars you know I think you'd be more money like what's 12 times five 60 bucks 15 etc right you'd probably make more in a session and especially if you booked especially if you booked two to three sessions a a week if you book two to three sessions a week oh my god like just think about it think about how much money more more money you'd be pulling in instead of trying to charge for one one-on-one -on -one sessions i know one-on-one -on -one sessions are nice but think about in your own perspective are you really able to uh really able to coach somebody like do you have that patience to coach somebody or are you willing or are you just taking their money like are you just taking their money and think about it are you willing to actually sit there have that person say i don't get what you're putting down and be able to spend that time and actually teach it to them without being frustrated that's a huge thing man are you actually willing to be a coach you know it's like think about a teacher like a school teacher how much they have to literally sit there and endure to like have a kid understand math english except spanish you know it's a lot of time putting in so are you guys really willing to put in that time i'm not saying you can't do it and i'm not and i'm not faulting anybody but hey change up your approach i think i think the five people five to ten to fifteen people with a five dollar five dollar entry as soon as that hits then you get more people to book because it's like oh well you know i'm willing to spend five dollars with more people to class i don't talk i won't talk but i can at least watch record the session or, or something like that, record the session if I can, and then boom, bada bang, you know, I can look back at it and be like, you know what, I learned something. And you know, I have different classes. So we're like, hey, this is gonna be supercross class, motocross class, this is like this class, you know, that right there will probably give you so much more intake. So yeah, that's my two cents on it. Hopefully you guys take it with a grain of salt and think I'm not being mean, but I personally, from my own perspective, I'm not paying anybody $30 for a one-on-one -on -one room. Really, I just proved to myself in two weeks, me actually practicing Supercross and picking some of my dude's brains, I've actually gotten better. So yeah, um, so far I haven't been able to hit a 45 or a 46. I feel like I've literally either messed up or just keep talking, but I am hitting consistent laps and that's what I'm liking. So maybe we'll focus up here, uh, figure out, you know, figure out what we want to do. I feel like a good seat bounce here. Hit this. This is good triple in. I gotta figure out because I feel like if you can hit that quad over, dude, with a double out, you're chicken noodle, man. I think I think that's the only like fa faster place you can get. Hit the quad, hit the quad, and 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 focus up on the sand spot, and then obviously don't do that. But yeah, the the whoops aren't bad, guys. Um, I'll show you the alternative. I don't think I've shown it yet, but I'll show you the alternative line coming off that supercross triple. I know you want to like kind of go closer here, scrub the best you can. You don't want to take all that berm because you can see you can literally scrub that. Then you want to hit this super cross triple, and then you actually want to do this and get right over it, and you actually be able to hit a triple out. I kind of like uh, over jumped it, but you can do that, and it'll set you up with a full triple out. You won't be able to get into the sand, which kind of messes you up. That's why I was saying like I think. With that little lip being there, I with that little lip being there, I think it messes you more up than it actually helps you jumping over the table um, tremendously. So I think the table on to the table off is actually the way to go, just you know for for speed purposes. And then also I don't know whether the line I've been hitting to the outside is better, but I believe Travis said the inside to be able to get that scoop uh, to the inside, like the little transfer, is definitely where it's at. So hopefully the quad, it's the quad. And then that right there. So we'll try to hit that. Let's try to focus up just a bit. Super cross triple. Let's stay low. Boom. Hit it. Table on. Single off. Triple. See? And that right there. You're supposed to hit the transfer in, but you're supposed to be you're supposed to be able to hit the table, stay more to the outside, and jump towards in. And that what that is what will get you your actual good lap or transfer in. But if you don't do that, you'll be you'll be, you know, what I did. You'll probably hit that bluey 
that blue punching bag and you'll be kind of like, dang, you know? So that's definitely something to look forward to. If you can master that, you'll probably have a really good time. You probably get hit a 45. So um, I might, I might not be able to hit it. I might not be able to hit that quad. That quad's looking a little mean. And I look. Let me, let me set, let me set the first half. Let me set the second half correctly. Then we can go for that crazy quad. But I feel like I got it in me. See, if you hit more of the berm, you got to slow down a little bit more to scrub. Boom. All right, I feel like I got it in me. Let's go crazy. Let's focus up. Ugh. And also, if I don't hit that table on correctly, you can see myself just not hitting. I feel like I'm seat bouncing or scrubbing at the wrongest times. So, well, since I messed this part up, let's go for the let's go for the quad. Since I messed this part up, let's not seat bounce and let's go for the quad. Yeah, no, I probably got to be in third third gear for sure. So second gear was not it. But the whoops aren't bad. I mean, the the dragon's back is actually pretty easy. This right here, you kind of just wanna kind of rally off and then you want to kind of angle yourself going more towards the right reason why is because you can hit this berm and drive out which is huge and then take more of the outside Ooh. get in here nice that wasn't bad all right just focus on this here we go see if i scrub that even harder it looks really sick all right this is it right here transfer nice that's huge should we go for the quad or should we try to set the 45? I'm a savage, just go for it. Third gear. Nah, couldn't even hit it anyway if I tried. It's, it's, something, it's something about the controls at that point. It's something about being able to either seat bounce or, or hit, like, you know, bounce up and get more of the height. And that's what's going to happen. Bad run through the whips, I feel like. Rail the outside. Boom, scrub. Slow her down. Don't mess this up. Seat bounce. Too much air time. But we hit a 46 right there. So I... Oh, man. I freaking... was about to reset on myself. All right. 46.2. I know I have the 45 in me. Um, I feel like I... I feel like I knew where I messed up, but I really don't. So... Probably this right here. Hitting this correctly. Hitting this correctly, type John. But, hey... To each their own. Hey, I feel like I definitely have conquered to the best where it's like, if I hit a 45, I will qualify. I think 47 might be the cutoff, maybe 48. Um, especially depending on like the, the race series. Oh, also K-Bell. Dude, how can I think of, forget K-Bell. Dude, if you guys made it this far, guys, K-Bell series, I think it's tomorrow um, as this uh, video is coming out, but I will be recording that. I won't be streaming, so I will be there for there. Hopefully I can record qualifying. Hopefully I record the races. Um, but yeah, I am going to try to qualify for that. That's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure it says the the 8th, which is like at 6 o'clock. So yeah, I'm excited for that, dude. I, I'm, I'm sad that I missed the, um, the you know, what do you even call that? The uh, preseason. I'm, mad, I'm, I'm sad I missed the preseason because I actually really wanted to do it. But I had to work like some 12-hour shifts. So wasn't able to hit that, John. Oh man, but hey, I'm chilling with my pre with my time. I feel like this right here on Tuesday will keep this in the back of my head. Seat bounce. Ah, oh, can't do it, man. I, I I don't know, dude. I can't do it. I feel like if I was to change my back tire, maybe I could get more speed. But the medium 110 in the back is just where it's at. But yeah, I'm excited for K Bells tomorrow. That's huge. I'm excited for this race. Excited for Arlington. That's a lot of Supercross practice, guys. That's like three. That's like three things that I'm trying to qualify to understand qualifying times, like like push it and then consistency. So that's a lot of, a lot of content, a lot of, a lot of practice for myself. So, all right, last time. Let's go for it one more time. I'm sorry, I'm kind of just dragging this, kind of just dragging it on. There you go. You hit the transfer, seat bounce. Boom, and into here. Come on. Nice. Nice. Come on. Come on. That's a drive. I knew exactly. Okay, I messed up in the whoops that time. That's where it was. That's what happened. I messed up in the whoops. And I OJ'd this one, I think. 
Yes, sir. That's a 45, baby. I know it's a high 45, but I'll take it for sure. Man, thank you guys so much for watching, dude. I do appreciate you guys for all the support lately. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. 4,000 subs, man. We're pushing. It's your boy, IBS Kelson. I'll catch you in the next one. Pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. Peace.